title, The Temptation in the Wilderness, and a slice of dark humor. I was just your average college student, working a part-time job as a pizza delivery guy to make ends meet. One fateful night, I received an order for a delivery that would make even the bravest soul second-guess their life choices. The address led me deep into the outskirts of town, where the streetlights grew sparse, and the houses became scarcer than logic in a horror movie. As I approached the destination, I couldn't help but feel like I was driving into a Stephen King novel. The house itself was colossal, looming in the darkness like a rejected set piece from a horror film. I could practically hear the violin screeches from Psycho in the background. When I arrived, the porch light was ominously flickering, and the door opened like a slow-motion horror scene. But what awaited me inside was anything but a textbook horror cliché. Instead of a monster, I was greeted by a stunning, naked woman. Now, at that point, I should have known I'd either stumbled into a low-budget adult film or something far, far worse. With a smile that could have won Miss Universe and a voice as sultry as a late-night jazz station, she gestured for me to enter. Come in, she purred, reaching out a hand as if to seal a diabolical pact. Join me in the warmth of my home. Part of me considered it, because who wouldn't? But my survival instincts kicked in. You see, my idea of getting lucky doesn't involve becoming the punchline of some twisted cosmic joke. So, I stammered out an excuse, turned tail, and ran faster than a cat on a cucumber. As I sped away from that eerie house, a thought struck me. What if this was just a bizarre reality show, and I'd missed my chance at fame? But as I contemplated my brush with fame and temptation, it wasn't long before my thoughts sobered up. The next morning, I sat down with my coffee and the morning news, only to discover that the house I'd visited had claimed yet another victim. The headlines were chilling, but I couldn't help but mutter to myself, well, I guess I'm not the only one who can't resist free pizza. At least my decision to dodge temptation won't make the front page. And so, I lived to deliver another pizza, and the memory of that night would forever be my go-to story for creepy campfires and dark-humored gatherings. Because, after all, sometimes the best way to survive the unknown is to add a dash of dark humor to the mix.